In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called graphing a linear inequality in the plane, standard form. So here we're given an equation in standard form for the inequality, and we're asked to graph it. And while there's a couple different ways that we could graph a line that's in standard form, I like to just change that form to y equals mx plus b form by solving for the y. So to solve this inequality for y, I would start by adding the 3x term on the left-hand side over to the right. That would cancel on the left-hand side, leaving me with a negative 4y is less than or equal to, since I'm trying to get y equals mx plus b form, I'm going to write the x term first. This would be 3x plus 16. And then to solve for y, I would want to divide each term by negative 4. Dividing by a negative in an inequality would change the direction of that inequality. And this would simplify to a negative 3 fourths x. And 16 divided by a negative 4 would be minus 4. So we have our y equals mx plus b form, where the b our y-intercept is minus 4. So on the graph, we cross the y-axis at minus 4. And then the slope here is a negative 3 fourths. So that would mean that from the intercept here, I would need to go down 3 and to the right 4 to get a second point. And this would be sufficient for connecting the dots to draw our line. And here I would want to look back at the original inequality, and I see that it's less than or equal to. Since it is or equal to, this would be a straight line. If it would have just been less than or just greater than, then we would have drawn it as a dotted line. So we've graphed the line, but since it's an inequality, I need to determine which side of the line to shade. And to do so, I'll use a test point. The test point can be any point that is not on the line that we just drew. And an easy one to plug in is the origin, 0, 0. If I plug that value into the original equation, we would have negative 3 times 0 minus 4 times 0 is less than or equal to 16. And the question for our test point is, is this a true statement? Simplifying on the left, we would have negative 3 times 0 is 0, minus 4 times 0, which is also 0. So this simplifies to 0 is less than or equal to 16. When a test point in an inequality is true, then we shade on that side of the line, on the test point side of the line. If we would have gotten a false statement, then we would shade opposite to the test point. 